I invite Dr. Surya Prakash to speak about mini perk instruments. Good morning, everybody. Um, respected chairpersons, and uh, at the outset, I'd like to thank Chandra Mohan for inviting me to give a talk on instrumentation of mini perk. Uh, we all do PCNL, but those who have been doing PCNL for the last 15, 20 years, we have seen that the track size has come, become smaller and smaller. Earlier days, when I was a trainee, we were dilating the tract up to 30 French. Now the, we, are, we, we no more dilate up to 30 French. My maximum dilatation size is 24. We don't go very rarely unless the system is very dilated. We, we go beyond 24. So why this has happened, how this has happened? There have been many papers which have proved that as the tract size increases, the complications increases. The bleeding increases, injury to the pelvic calcial system increases. So with the uh, invention of better accessories, better, better instrumentation, the complications have come down. So this is a table which shows the, the, the track size of different PCNLs and their nomenclature. This is a paper published from Nadiad Group, the Mahesh Desai Sir and Group, where they have uh, categorized the PCNL into anything which is less than 22 French is now named as mini PCNL. Of course, there are other entities like MIP, UMP, SMP. I'll come to this a little later on. So anything above 22 French is standard PCNL, less than 22 is mini PCNL. So this is a classification proposed by Negale, where he coined the term not mini PCNL, he labeled it as minimally invasive PCNL. You see the last uh, box, he categorized like, like what we wear shirts, large, extra large, small, extra small, so he named it like that. He called the minimally invasive PCNL as MIPL, MIPM, MIPS, MIPXS. So we'll come to it later on. And he said that the stones which are more than 8 mm and more than 15 mm, the, he applied this classification to this. So stones 8 to 15 mm, they go for MIPXS or MIPS. 10 to 30 mm go for MIPM or MIPL. Stagon stones go for MIPL. So what is this MIPL, MIPX? We'll come to this. So, this is a nephroscope from Starch. It's called MIP Large Nephroscope. It is a 9.5 French rod lens nephroscope. The working channel is very good. It is 12.4 French. The length of the scope is 22 centimeters. The dilatation is by single step dilatation. Put a guide wire. You can put a 10 French uh, uh, facial dilator. After that, directly put this uh, one step dilator. It comes in two sizes, 23 by 24 and 25 by 26. And there's a sheath with this. The length of the sheath again comes in two sizes, 15 centimeters and 18 centimeters. 18 centimeters can be used for uh, supine PCNL and obese patients. The next one is MIPM. It's called medium. Again, the sheaths are of three sizes. It comes in 15 by 16, 16.5 by 17.5, 21 by 22. And again, the sheaths are of two lengths, 15 centimeters and 18 centimeters. The nephroscope for MIPM is a 12 French nephroscope. It has got a 6.7 French working channel. Of course, you can't put a larger uh, instruments into this. It is a fiber optic scope. It's not a rod lens scope. The length is 22 centimeters. It is a very good nephroscope, it, and it is very good for mini PCNL. The accessories for MIPL, so for the 19.5 French nephroscope, you can use a 10.5 French tri-prong or alligator graspers, whereas for MIPM, you can only use a 5, five French tri-prong or alligator. So you can't remove a big fragments. Basically, these are designed for fragmentation and section evacuation or uh, using a laser lithotripsy. So coming to MIPS, MIPS is MIP small. So it, this comes in a dilator sheath of 12 by 11 by 12 French, single step dilatation. The sheath length again comes in two lengths, 15 centimeters and 18 centimeters. MIP excess stands for MIP extra small. The, it has got again single step dilatation, 8.5 by 9 point French. So MIP S, uh, MIP excess go only with this extra small nephroscope which is 7.5 French nephroscope. Again, it is a fiber optic nephroscope, 24 centimeters length. It, is a, it has got a two French working channel for a laser fiber and a three French working channel for uh, irrigation. So this scope can be used with MIPS and MIP excess sheets. So they adv advocate to use a suction irrigation. So the irrigation has to be pressurized irrigation and the, uh, written is also with a suction when, when we use these MIP uh, sheets. So the another uh, thing from Dr. Janak Desai from Ahmedabad, he, he invented this ultra-mini PCNL, 
where he uses this three French telescope, which goes into 7.5 French nephroscope. Again, there are two sheets. We can use 11 French or 13 French sheets. It is marketed by LUT company from Germany. So the other thing in the basket is super mini PCNL. It comes from Hawk Medical Company. So here, there's a separate channel for irrigation, separate channel for suction, separate channel for passing your accessories or a laser fiber. So the principle here is that you don't, you break the stone with laser, you don't remove any fragments, just, just come by suction. The written outlet is connected to a powerful suction, the, uh, and the suction can be controlled. All the fragments are uh, 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 sucked out from the uh, uh, pelvic culture system. It's called super mini PCNL. The other one is from Dr. Kaushik, who is here. He has come up with a sheath called uh, Super Perk. Again, he attaches suction to this. It comes in 10 by 12 uh, uh, French and with different lengths. And suction is attached to the cannula to suck out all the fragments. So the uh, different companies have come with whatever I have said is from storage. Olympus has also come with a 15 French nephroscope with a 17, 7.5 French working channel. Uh, Richard Wolf has got Again, a 12 French nephroscope with uh, two she sheet size, 15 French and 18 French. They are suitable for mini perk. And uh, the most commonly used, which I use, routinely use in my practice for mini perk, is this Richard Wolf 18 point French nephroscope without any outer sheath. It has got a very large working channel, 14 French. It can be easily used with 20 French amplast sheath. So, the other innovations is uh, clear Petra. I think, uh, sir, Mahesh Desai sir has got the largest experience here. Uh, the, they have come up with sheets for bladder, bladder stones PCCL, for RIRS access sheet, and for PCNL also. It comes with a suction, where the suction can be controlled. Uh, the sheet is, uh, again, it comes with a single use, like Amplast sheet. You pass an nephroscope into this, completely break the stone with a laser fiber, and support all the fragments. This a small video clip from this. See, this is a suction connected to this. Uh, this is the Amplast sheet, single step dilatation pass a nephroscope through the sheath, uh, and the stone is fragmented with a laser. All the fragments uh, come out through this. And uh, any larger fragments are there, you withdraw the nephroscope till the red mark, big fragments will come out. You can see the, in the ins in insert picture, the stone being fragmented with laser. All the small stones are being sucked out. And any big fragments are there, withdraw the scope, they come out. And the suction can be controlled with the manual control. If you want more suction, you can apply more suction with that. So this is another a, a recent innovation in uh, a mini PCNL. So there have been the track size has become small, the complications have become small with this. Uh, this is how the PCNL has uh, taken shape from 30 French now to, I can say, 8.9 French is the smallest nephroscope available. Thank you, Dr. Surprakash.